hello youtube this will be a short video uh, i think i will make shorter videos from now on because according to my statistics analytics google analytics uh, the videos are being watched two minutes tops so uh, i don't want to waste my time i don't want to waste anybody else's time so i will make uh, shorter videos i don't know if i'm gonna make it less frequent as well or maybe more frequent since there will be shorter but anyway long story short i first want you to show you my this is just some uh, wirings um, a pcb that i made for my car back then i think uh, actually i wanted to show you some pictures as well get those ready and the pictures are from 197 1992 that makes them 28 years old so but uh, I probably did this uh, around then as a remote start for my car and uh, as you can see it was lots of electronics which you could today make it much much smaller and this is how I did the wiring back then with 90 degree corners and whatnot um, of course I'm glad that I can design and make PCBs now because that looks much much better now than it did way back then so this is just a relic should put i should make my own museum and uh put them in there anyhow that was that <clears throat> now uh, i know at least two people do look forward to this one. Oh, let me show you what it does so it was it's a uh, voice changer microphone speaker and uh, it doesn't sound great anymore because of the low battery probably i want to if it does work at all. Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. Well, I think the battery is uh, <laughs> about dead after 30 years. So I just hope there is a date in here. I think this was a kit that I put together uh, that's what I remember I don't know we will know for sure when I open it up and uh, <laughs> I still can't believe that the battery is still well probably almost dead but halfway working oh my god I can't believe these are coin cells <laughs> uh, of course uh, it doesn't look pretty oh i have a, a potentiometer to for the adjustment of the voltage and okay so it was a ready built uh, device that i put into a enclosure uh, but to keep in mind how i nicely drilled the holes the alignments so i cannot believe these are the batteries that are still working and i thought it's gonna be a triple a battery or something like that which would have a date on it <clears throat> these little things will hardly have a date on it and I'm surprised they don't, didn't leak all these years. I cannot believe it. But Vata, uh, one of the best battery makers in Germany and made in West Germany. Uh, there is some oxida oxidation. Oxidation, is that correct? Uh, but I cannot believe that these are the batteries that I mean now I'm even more surprised than I would have been with a AAA or 
Uh, double A batteries. I mean, can you believe the batteries are working? Almost working. For 30 years. Ah, too bad I don't have any date on here. Well, I did glue the board in. I don't want to rip it out, but I doubt that there's any date on the board. I mean, well, I do put date on my board instead of revision numbers because revision number won't tell me anything in 10 years, but a date on the board, but I, I put like month and uh, year, that will tell me when I did build it. But uh, unfortunately, you have to take my word for it that this thing is 30 years old around there. I cannot believe that these batteries are still good. <laughs> now let, let's, just for the fun of it. I know if I quit, keep doing stuff like this, I won't be able to make short videos, but... Uh, I want to see the voltage of these batteries. 1.33 volts. Zero point six. One point five eight. This thing's full to the brim. One point one five. They're all different. So, an H too bad, too bad there's no date. Anyway, this was my voice changer mystery box and I would never have thought that I put those batteries in there. Okay, let me clear the table. Um, now first I want to show you a stitched picture because the pictures I took back then somehow the film uh, wasn't aligned in the in the camera and it was a cheap camera as you might probably tell uh, so this would be somewhere around here or isn't it hold on Oh, like this so I did have once a car that I ripped everything out of it and even the windows and whatnot and had it painted and uh, I have bigger pictures but I want to show you just the whole thing and uh, these are euro sized uh, PCBs uh, I think they're like I, don't know, I forgot 120 by 180 millimeters I don't know um, so this was it let me start from the left this is a compass uh, it's just the info and then I had here I think temperature readings I'm not sure anymore uh, this I can tell I will show you on the um, the other videos but I had like the LEDs here uh, this is RPM and I did use a uh, um, seven segment uh, well, let me don't, don't go into details here I show you in the other pictures so these are indicator lights speed uh, kilometers uh, resettable uh, res um, kilometers for the car odometer um, what was that temperature voltmeter also again temperature and this was a rpm um, rpm gauge uh, torque gauge so this is how it looked now let me show you the single pictures so here you can see again I don't even know how well you can see it but uh, this is again the resettable this is odometer speed uh, these are indicator lights this was temperature oil yes I did black out some of the seven segments so the light would not shine through to the other segments <clears throat> and on here I actually did cut up 
a seven segment uh, LED display and put it in a V form for volt. So that's practically the same, only cut up. So that was fun. And this is again temperature and uh, torque meter, which you can see here. And um, I did have a car back then, it was a Chrysler Laser. Uh, I was gonna get the Dodge Daytona, but I didn't. So mine actually did not have a turbo on it. So, but these were, um, I can tell. One of them is RPM and one of them is uh, the PS, the horsepower, I think. And that was the curve uh torque curve and the power curve of that particular engine and uh, you can see my name over down here so <clears throat> here you can see again much much better actually how i did cut the seven segment display and made it a v and this is oil with uh, the other segments blacked out and uh I, I had a labeling machine and I put labels on the LEDs here, but I cannot read them on here anymore. Um, that was the center uh, display with the kilometers. This was a finished product that I took apart and just put the display in here, but all the other ones uh, I did with um, integrated chips with uh, digital CMOS chips, I think not digital, CMOS chips, CMOS or TTL, I don't remember which ones I used. And on here also you have the labels, which you cannot see on the uh, pictures anymore. Now here actually I have a torque meter, it says vacuum, if I read it correctly, vacuum here and boost here. Huh, I didn't even remember that one. So anyhow, that was that, and then I had continues to that, on this side you can see the um, display here. Uh, I had the RPM again with uh, blacked out segments, and this was a uh, amp per hour, and then the LEDs, and I do have somewhere pictures of my car with actually the... Um, the gauges installed in it but uh, yeah that was it and this is 792 28 years ago to the month I don't know the date but seven exactly 28 years ago and uh, I wonder these days you take pictures digital pictures save them on hard disks uh, SD cards uh, if you're lucky on CD-ROMs um, Will you have those 28 years from now, 30 years from now, they will be probably be deleted, uh, lost or whatever. But pictures you do have, I mean, you, I mean, these are compared to other pictures, of course, not that old. I'm not talking about the old of the picture, but you have like pictures from the 15th, 16th, 100th century. And uh, I doubt you will have any electronic um remains 20 years from now so yes this was what i did 28 years ago among among other things so anyhow uh i hope that at least one or two people are still with me and i forgot i wanted to thank my patreons and uh whoever supports me on um banggood uh, and directly over PayPal, I should have, I will on the next video, thank all the people at the beginning of the video, before people shut them off. So anyhow, this was it. Thanks for watching and take care everybody.